Hey guys, it's Shannon, Simply Shannon here. So I'm going to do a review of all the new Wonder Woman makeup and stuff that is out right now for the wonderful movie that is Wonder Woman. They came out with some new makeup, brushes, lipsticks, lip glosses, and I just went crazy and bought some and I want to share with you guys. So here we go. Oh, you guys, I love Wonder Woman. I decided to wear my Wonder Woman t-shirt today to do this video and I went to the local Walgreens here and I bought some goodies. I got some eyeshadows, some lipsticks, some brushes. Let's just go into it and see what we got. So the first one is I bought the face and eye brush set. So it comes in this beautiful box with the picture of Wonder Woman. Um, this was $12. It's by London Soho, New York. That's the brand that came out with this. Um, I know they did a while ago. I think it was last summer because I got a bag from last year's collection. I want to say a lot of this stuff is the same and they just redid it, especially since the um, the movie's coming out. Okay, this is kind of cool. Just this little picture. That's almost frameable. That might have to have a place of honor here somewhere in my setup, but I love that. So that's the packaging. So this is what we got. Um, it comes with four brushes. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not, you know, super high quality, of course, but it's actually not too bad. It feels kind of nice. So we got face brush. We have a, okay, these are not very good though. Wow. Okay. So we have an eyeshadow brush. Um, we got another, oh, this one's nice though. This is nice and fluffy. This one's almost a little too stiff. I don't know if I could be able to use that one, but I can definitely work with this one a little bit better. And then the last one is like a liner brush. Oh, and it's not bad either. I thought it was going to be kind of stiff and not pliable. It is a little bit. This little bag, I don't really know what you're supposed to use it for. If you're supposed to put the brushes into it. Uh, well, I guess you kind of could. Like, uh, I guess so. I don't know if I would ever store a brush in there, but be a cute like um, little change purse or maybe carry lipsticks in my purse or something like that. But super cute. You know, I love Wonder Woman. I always have. I grew up. I'm old enough to remember watching the Linda Carter series on TV. I'm that old. Used to have my underoos with the Wonder Woman. So I've been around. I love Wonder Woman. And so these are really, really nice. They have the nice little Wonder Woman with all the rainbows on the handles. So cute little thing to add to my collection. So I do really like that. Okay. Next thing, I have two eyeshadows. I have the Paradise Island collection. And then I have an Eye for Justice. So there's two different um, little trios in here. Let's open them up. These ones, I want to say, were like maybe $6, $5. can't really remember, and they don't have a price on them. But I want to say they were like $5 or so. Um, very cute packaging. Let me get it out of here. So it has the Wonder Woman on the... Um, on the outside there, you open it up. This is on. I don't want to peel this off because I think it's cool. But look, it has a sticker on the mirror itself. And then we have um, three pans, and they're each double. So it has Valiant and Victorious, Secret Identity with Freedom Fighter, and Emancipation and Bulletproof. Okay, so let's swatch these. I have not opened these yet. The tape is still on these suckers. So let me see how to take this tape off. All right, there we go. Maybe, maybe not. This is a process, you know. Maybe I should have taken the tape off before I actually started rolling on the camera. But we're gonna do this together, why not? Okay, so let me see. Man, this they do not want you to get into these. You have to like work. Work, 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 work. Sorry, this is like going to be totally candid and I'm just going to go crazy. I haven't filmed in a while, guys. I feel kind of in a in a jaunty kind of fun mood. You guys see my blue hair? I got my hair done yesterday. What do you think? This is my summer hair. I went blue for the summer. So, you know me. I like to mix it up. I am letting it grow. You guys are going to see me with longer hair, hopefully. I'm going to keep it going. I hate that in-between stage right where I'm at right now, but I'm going to to go through it and see how long I can get it again. So there's the shades. Let's take a look. So let's do Valiant and Victorious first. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. It feels better than I thought it would. I'm not saying it's the best shadow in the world, but it does 
Not a lot of pigment there. That's okay. Okay, let's try this one. You know, it's, you're buying it more for the, yeah, no, not even showing up. You're buying it no, more for the Wonder Woman appeal of it. Like I said, it's not like I'm good. Ooh, that one actually has a little something, something. It's not that I'm going to be using these on the daily or, you know, like I said, some of them are going. As the, we get darker, we're getting a little bit more pigment to them. Wow, the black is like hello black, though. Holy crap, Amongo, look at that black. So, you know, they're... They're drugstore gimmicky shadows. Like I said, they are not going to create this perfect look. And I I am thinking of trying to play around with them, though. I mean, just to be fun and see if I could get a look. But, I mean, the first two, you can't really see the one shimmer. But the black and the last four of them or so, I mean, they got a little pigment there. So you can play around with them. But, like I said, it's more because they're Wonder Woman. And that's really what you're paying for. Um... So, there is that. It says, not tested on animals. So, hey, there you go. It is made in China, though. It's not distributed by Walgreens. So, like I said, I mean, it's not the best. It's not the greatest shadows in the world. And I don't know if I would use them. Like I said, they're more because it's Wonder Woman. You know? So, let's go to the next one. The next ones are going to be more of your brown. So, they give you grays and blacks and then browns. So you can do two different kind of smoky eye looks. Um, same thing, same company. I love that the packaging was different, though, and cute little comics. Is it the same? Co oh, it is the same comic. So they really didn't stretch it too much. It's just different um, colors on the package. So it's got the same packaging. The gold Wonder Woman. Yet again, let me take this tape off again. So... You know, like I said, didn't think I had too much, but that's okay. Oh, this one came off a lot better. All right. So, move this out of the way. So, these ones, we get the names for them real quick. So, we have Grace and Power and Golden Age in this one. Then we have Strength and Spirit of Truth. Then we have Heroic Beauty and Olympia. Okay? So, let's swatch these. I'm going to put them on my other wrist. We have a really pretty kind of like an off-white. It's not going to give you a lot of pigment. It's really blending into my skin. Can't even see it. But then we got this gold. And wow, hello gold. Wow, that's got some pigment to it. Look at the gold already. Yeah, that one's got a little something, something. Okay. We got... They're actually very soft. I will say that. They... Oh, wow. That one's got a little something. The mattes are definitely not the greatest. This one, I think, is going to be better than that other one is. Wow. Um, the mattes are not the best, but the shimmers are really... Okay, this one is surprising the heck out of me. It's got this deep chocolate... Br wow. Okay, guys. This one packs a punch on it. Look at that. Sorry, my swatches started to go a little crazy. That first color, you really can't see that well, but look at all those other ones. I may actually like this one. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, definitely, if you only were going to get one, I would definitely say the the more bronzy browns ones have more of actual pigment to them. That gold is like everything. I love that gold. This one is, eh, and I don't do a lot of grays or blacks, smoky eyes or anything like that. So, this one may be just more of a gimmick for me, and I keep it. You know, but um, I'm obviously going to keep both of them. But I might actually use this one and see about getting a look. Maybe I'll do a look with the brushes and we'll see. Maybe I'll actually film that. I don't know. I'm in the process of getting a nice mirror and maybe upgrade, upgrading my camera soon. So if I can at least do get ready with me and stuff like that. I would really like to do that. You know, we finally got my setup kind of how I want it. And we really are expanding and trying to improve. So hopefully soon... You know, I do want to do new stuff and grow this channel and see what I can do with it. So stay tuned. Okay, so they had three lipsticks. I did not buy the reds because I don't wear red lipstick. I got the color Modern Age. First of all, the packaging I love. Yes, it's just plastic and it's kind of cheap and cheesy, but you know what? This just looks Wonder Woman to me, okay? So it's got just like this plastic cap with the red star on it. 
and then it has a little Wonder Woman. Like I said, this is in the shade Modern Age. I'm going to swatch this. Wow. Okay, I kind of really like that color. I think that just really packs a punch. I think it's so pretty. So that is that one. Like I said, I did not buy the other two. Um, same with the lip glosses. They had three lip glosses. I did not buy the red because I don't wear red. Um, but the ones I bought were Mighty Aphrodite, which is this really kind of purpley fuchsia kind of color. And then I bought Athena's Kiss, which is more of this toffee kind of color, I think. Um, they had a lip tint that was in like a little tin. I just don't like sticking my fingers repeatedly in things, so I didn't pick that up. So, And then they had nail polishes and stuff like that. Um, but here's this. Let's give it a swatch. Oh, it's a little patchy. Well. Yeah, it's definitely patchy. I mean, it's not be-all, end-all, you know, but it's not really swatching that good either. But that's that shade right there, okay? And then let's do the pink on the other hand. Then we got the little pink. It's just, you know, it's cute little packaging with the Wonder Woman and the star. And I mean, like I said, these are all just cute kind of things. I didn't expect the world's greatest makeup out of them. That's not why I bought them. Oh, this is really bad. I can't even get a good swatch with this. Kind of gloss here. Ooh. Yeah, it's just kind of moving all over the place. There's that one. That one's definitely not the best. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, I can't even get a good swatch on that one. But that's that one. Like I said, I bought these because I love Wonder Woman. I had to get something to go with my Wonder Woman collection. I think these are great. And literally, like I said, I mean, I might use this this um, eyeshadows. Especially, you guys, like I said, this brown one. I think they actually have some good colors in there. I don't know how they apply to the eyes. These are just finger swatches. So I'm thinking we need to test these two out. Let me know if you guys would be um, interested in that. Um, if you guys want to see me do a little try on with these and using the brushes and maybe the lipsticks and see what we can do. Um, so let me know if you guys have seen the movie. Comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Obviously, it's getting rave reviews and high box office numbers. And, you know, we needed our female superhero. And boy, did they get it right with Wonder Woman. I'm so proud of the movie. I think it's great. And it's very empowering for us women. We needed something like this and we got it and they did it right. So yeah. Um, I'd appreciate you guys if you would like this video. If you're new or you're thinking you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I kind of have fun. I love to do videos and I'm just, I like to reach out and engage with you guys. So, you know, hey, if you like me, hit the subscribe. If you don't like me, mm -hmm. that's fine too. I'm okay with that. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not the world's best makeup artist and gonna do all these be no I just get out here I have fun I like to engage with you guys and that's what I do so that's me I will see you guys in another video and like I said go see the movie if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it and if you have please share your thoughts below let's get a discussion going all right guys thanks bye-bye